How you doing guys? This is Mark from Cars and Cameras and today we're going to take a look at something a little different. We're going to take a look at another monitor or actually a Ultra HD TV set that I'm using as a monitor and this is the LG uh, UB8000 and the reason why I got this I'm going to show you in a minute but um, you know I've been trying out different 4K monitors for the uh, for the Mac Pro and the Mac Mini and I just wasn't really satisfied what you know what I was looking at. And I'll tell you why I wasn't satisfied. But the reason why I wasn't satisfied is about the size. And I just really think that when you're viewing in 4K at native resolution, well, it's just you need a bigger monitor. Well, this is a 40-inch monitor, uh, or actually a 40-inch HD TV. And you know, I was concerned. You know, what is it going to look like when I hook this thing up to? Uh, the Mac Mini and the Mac Pro. Well, I'm happy to say the results are quite pleasing and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So okay guys, so here's the monitor on my desk powered up. You can see the little feet that it has on the bottom. I really like it because it sits low on the desk and it's got these little, um, they're very, these kind of elegant little small feet, you know, on each side. And that's it. I like how it sits kind of low. You know, you can see the uh, the uh, Apple Cinema display over here that I have, and that sits up a little higher, actually. But uh, I like how it sits, and look at it. It is beautiful, okay? It is stunning. I'm telling you, this is the way to go, especially in 4K. Oh, my God, this is absolutely fantastic. It Look at that picture. It is just out of this world. It is really stunning. And, and what's the really cool part? viewing the monitor at 3840 by 2160. Yes, you're looking at everything at native resolution, which is really cool. Okay, look at the, um, you can see the, the time on the, uh, up there in the far right hand corner. If you looked at this at native resolution on a 28 inch screen, I don't care, I've tried them all. It's, it's you can't make it out. You, you have to go to a lower resolution. If you look what this computer monitor can do, hooked up to the Mac Mini, you see you're only able to get 30 hertz. That's as high as we're able to take it. A deal breaker for me? No, it's not, okay? Because I'm using this monitor for computer editing in 4K, and for that it works fine, okay? The other thing, and I know somebody's gonna ask to see this, but let me pull up the mouse cursor here. You can see it, it does kinda lag a little bit, but basically I have it turned up all the way, and it's really not a problem, okay? But why do I really like this monitor? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, when Final Cut Pro opens, this is why I really like it. Take a look at this. Okay, I can see all my windows sharp and clear. Everything looks beautiful. I can make out everything there. My color correction, my transform, uh, crop, distort, stabilization, everything is there. Look at the size of the viewer window. It's huge, okay? Look at all this. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. Look at my timeline. I can see everything. Everything is sharp and clear. This is what I want. Now, the thing is, and the cool thing is, when I set this up, you know, I don't have to be, you know, changing the screen resolution like I was doing with the smaller monitors when I want to go ahead and, you know, and look at something else on it. It just works, okay? And this is really, really, really great. And I got to tell you, you know, 4K on a budget, that's what I'm talking about all the time. This thing, I've been testing it now for the past three weeks. It works bulletproof with the latest Mac Mini. I have the, I'm using the Mac Mini that was uh, on my, uh, you'll see a review on it. It's the same Mac Mini, it works fantastic. Of course it works with the Mac Pro, but what we're gonna talk about is using this with the Mac Mini. I like this monitor so much, I think I'm gonna pick up a second one for my other computer. I just, I love it. It's really, really fantastic, and like I say, you can't go wrong with this. Um, once you're in the 4K realm, you know, using a 4K TV as a monitor is fantastic. It's perfect for video editing. It really is. No, you're not. You don't have the high refresh rate. It's not going to work for gaming, okay? But that's not what I'm using it for. I'm using it for. Uh, uh, 4K editing and it works great. You know the the preview window that I have it it plays back everything beautiful in 4K. Everything is there. It's really really good and that's about all I can say about it. Now 
What's the other downside to it? Well, I'm gonna show you that right now. When I turn this thing on, right now with the current firmware, and there's, you know, there's other people that are doing what I'm doing with this, and I have to press this power button right here, but you know something? When I power up the computer, it doesn't self power up like, you know, sense the power, but what I've been told is they're gonna fix that in a future firmware update. Well, you know what? That and the 30 hertz, it's really not a problem. I wanted to show you the mouse pointer again. Let me just show you so you can just see it. But you can see now, this is set to the highest setting. It's not really, you, there's not really a comet tail behind it. It's not really dragging that much. It's fine, you know, you can see I can move it. You know, actually with a lot of things, you can move it with probably greater precision, but it works fine. I mean, and you know, I didn't really know when I set this up if I was gonna like it, you know, am I gonna take this back? What, what am I gonna think of it? But I'm sold. Anyway, guys, that's my quick look at the LG UB8000 Ultra HD TV.